morning guys welcome back to another video and Merry Christmas as you guys are watching this it's Christmas Day I can't believe it December went by so fast it's all over vlogmas is over vlogmas is over never vlogging again <laughs> That's a lie. Anyways, guys, I hope you are enjoying your day. I hope you are spending time with friends and family and loved ones and, you know, just doing that whole holiday thing. It really does not feel like Christmas for us here because Canadians, we're used to snow, you know, like coldness and we're here about to go to the beach, so. Today is Christmas Eve for us and everything's pretty much closed. It's just kind of like a slow day, so. I think the gym's even closed too. Yeah. Yeah, this morning I'm gonna make a smoothie because that's all we really have for breakfast because, you know, stuff's closed. And I got enough fruit to make a smoothie, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. smoothie is really really good. The mango is really really sweet. Of course, we couldn't do one video without showing you guys a papaya. I decided to have a smoothie this morning instead of a papaya. Kyle's gonna eat the papaya and then we're gonna go hang out at the beach. Christmas, Christmas time, Eve. Christmas Eve at the beach. Gonna be a busy one. some overnight oats that I actually just made this morning before breakfast. This is enough for like me and Kyle to split. Oh no! You just got a strawberry all sandy. I lost one. That strawberry's gone. This looks really yummy. This reminds me of Hawaii. We yeah. would always bring overnight oats or like cold oats to the beach in like mason jars like this. Yeah. I miss a lot, we gotta go back there. It was really good. The beach is super busy today because it's Christmas Eve. I haven't seen this beach. This is like the more private beach too. I can't even imagine what the public beach looks like. Yeah, but check it out. I honestly think it's so awesome to see that there's just so many people here like relaxing and enjoying this beautiful view on Christmas Eve, like, this is where I would want to spend my Christmas Eve, too. Guys, we found our kitty. Hey? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come say hi to Maddie. Hello. <laughs> our kitty friend is back. Cooper? He's so cute, buddy. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. 
All right, guys, we are home from our afternoon relaxing on the beach. Today hasn't really been too exciting. We haven't really done much. Everything's closed and we're just kind of relaxing. Are you eating bonitos? Whole bag, you didn't even get it 24 hours ago and it's like almost gone. I did eat some as well, but. <laughs> I have just been literally eating plain bread. This is Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread cinnamon raisin So good just eating it by itself because it's cinnamon raisin who else is obsessed with cinnamon raisin bread like me The minute made cinnamon raisin bread is what I would always have. I don't think it's vegan But my mom would always buy it and it would be like gone within a day Anyways, I've just been eating this plain because it's so good. I'm so excited because I finally have all my ingredients for salad again and you guys know me like I don't eat a lot of salad you guys see my videos I don't just like have salads but since being here and like all the fresh foods here just taste really good and really fresh and then we also found a place that has organic homegrown greens and sprouts and amazing salad dressing so I've been having a lot of salad like, haven't I been eating so much salad? Yeah, it feels good to eat more salad. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good to like eat greens. Normally I would like blend greens and smoothies, yeah. but it feels good to like actually just like chew and it's just eat veggies. It's because we haven't really experimented with like good dressings. Yeah. Like we need to experiment with more good dressings so that t salads taste good because salads need savory or sweet dressings. We just haven't been salad people, and so I've never like experimented with salad dressings, but when I get home, when I get reunited with the Vitamix, that is my goal, is to develop some good salad dressings. Like, I look forward to eating this every single night. Like, and I was so upset last night because we didn't have all the stuff for salad. <laughs> so I went out to buy all the stuff for salad so that I could have salad. <laughs> So what do we have here? We've got fresh tomato, cucumber, purple cabbage. I love having purple cabbage in my salad and it's also super nutritionally dense, which is, you know, plus. We've got some organic homegrown, these are sunflower sprouts, so good. And then this is organic homegrown greens and then I've got some avocado. And then this is the same dressing that you guys have been seeing me use for the past little bit. It's like garlic and olives. And then hemp parts. And then normally I would add some hummus, but we don't have any hummus, which is okay because I have avocado, so that's nice and creamy to cover the salad. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna make to kind of tide me over until I make dinner. I'm gonna eat like all of this. Like this bowl is not big enough. <laughs> I eat like three of these bowls worth of salad. It's just so amazing and it makes me feel really good. All right, so I'm about to attempt to make us some pasta. I thought I had all of the ingredients for pasta, but I don't really. I have one yellow bell pepper, two tiny mushrooms, a little bit of garlic. I don't have an onion, so I don't have any onion for the sauce. I don't even have any onion powder, but I've just got some tomato sauce, and then I'm just gonna attempt to make a sauce out of that and season it with a little bit of salt and oregano and then just cook up some pasta. I'm just feeling kind of lazy today and I don't really feel like making a huge dinner. So I'm just gonna cook up some pasta. I already had a bunch of salads, so, you know, I already got my veggies for today. It's good. So yeah, it's pasta tonight for dinner. This is my beautiful 
beautiful dinner. Some plain whole wheat pasta with that sauce that you just saw me make. And that is it, plus that salad. So, you know, all in all, good nutritious dinner. But it's really hot right now, so I'm gonna let it cool off. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about, because I know a lot of people have been asking questions and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of questions on this vlog, is a lot of people have been asking how we are going to celebrate Christmas, if we celebrate Christmas, if we're sad that we're not going to be with our families and all that stuff. To be quite honest, we're not really celebrating, celebrating Christmas. We're not getting each other gifts. This is our second Christmas in a row that we haven't been home. Um, so it does feel a little bit weird, but for my family situation personally, like Christmas was a big thing when we were younger, you know. Um, it was more like family oriented, I feel like, when I was younger. Now, I feel like as we're getting older, you know, the whole like gift giving thing just gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Our families don't really get together that much very often. So it's really not a big thing and I don't really feel like I'm missing out on anything in particular. I know for a lot of you guys, like Christmas might be really big or whatever you celebrate might be really big. So it might be like weird that I'm like not at home for Christmas, but it doesn't really feel that weird <laughs> to me. But it does feel a little weird like now, like on Christmas Eve, I'm seeing like snaps of like people at home and everybody is like with their families and like in Christmas pajamas and all that stuff. And honestly, I do kind of miss it. Last Christmas when we were away, we were in Australia last Christmas. And we were like, we don't really like Christmas on the beach. It was just kind of weird. It didn't feel like Christmas. And we were like, next Christmas, we're gonna spend it at home. We're gonna spend it with family. We're gonna have like a traditional, like snowy, cold, romantic Christmas. But then we were like, I don't really wanna stay here in the winter, so we're just gonna leave. <laughs> Tomorrow's Christmas day. We're not getting each other gifts. I don't think we've got each other Christmas gifts since like the first year we were together because <laughs> we felt like obligated to because it was like a new relationship but now like even for like birthdays and stuff so we don't really like get each other gifts i just honestly like for us in our situation i don't really see the point in it throughout the year we will get each other thing like we only really buy things that we need and that are useful and so like specialty items or things like that like maybe we will get each other things for like our birthdays or just like really whenever like we don't really I don't know we're not really huge like consumerist people we don't really ask for a lot of things our gift to each other is you know just we get to spend every single day together and we get to do what we love to do every day and I think like a lot of people would kind of die to have that and so we're just really grateful for that so we're just gonna tomorrow we're just gonna spend the day together and Tomorrow's gonna be the first day where I'm not going to pick up the camera. We're just gonna have a day to spend to ourselves and actually feel like we're in the moment and not have to worry about, you know, picking up the camera or, you know, we're just gonna be in the moment and spend time together. And that is the greatest gift that I could ever ask for. So I feel like as I am growing older and as I'm kind of understanding more about the world, I kind of feel like I'm not really enjoying Christmas as much as I did when I was younger because when I was younger it was all about getting presents and now it's just like yeah like Santa and getting presents and all that and I really like I really like like the romance and like magical feel of Christmas like that's what I kind of miss but I don't miss having everybody get together and you know celebrate over eating a dead animal carcass and you know like just feeling the obligation of having to get somebody a gift and you don't know what to get them and it's like is this really useful is this person ever gonna use it like I don't know you know what I mean the whole consumerism aspect of it anyways so I'm just really thankful that I am not freezing my butt off in the snow and I get to spend the day on the beach relaxing in the sunshine that is my Christmas gift to myself. <laughs> I also just wanted to mention that tomorrow, the 26th Boxing Day, is the last day of my ebook sale. It is on for 50% off, 
and I won't be doing a like huge sale like this for probably quite some time now so if that is something that you have been wanting to get I would really recommend you grab it now while it's on for 50% off so if you want to check that out it is linked in the description and in the pinned comment and that is the end of vlogmas guys I did it I'm really proud of myself it really pushed me to like new limits and I really had a really really good time like really good time it was awesome and I hope you guys enjoyed it I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed it and that makes me really really happy but I'm kind of sad that it's over vlogmas is over still gonna vlog fun still gonna make a lot of videos I'm probably gonna do a video kind of every other day yeah I don't know we'll, we'll figure it out together okay guys <laughs> that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'm used to saying I will see you guys tomorrow, but I'm going to have to get out of that habit. Maybe sometimes I'll say that, but yeah. And I don't remember how to end videos now, but I will see you guys later. Bye!